Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here, and today Dead by Daylight put out somewhat of a mysterious tweet, but I'm going to break it down and tell you what it means here. So Dead by Daylight tweeted today, I feel that someone is watching me, and you may have noticed right away, you're like, what the heck is this over here? Looks like a penguin or Mort from Madagascar. What's this alternate text say, by the way? A screenshot of the Yamaoka Estate Sanctum of Wrath map with DBD Day logo on the bottom right. Several statues, including Unseen One, are watching you. <coughs> so I think this is definitely the key here, this DBD Day. This was an event that they had in Japan last October to celebrate the anniversary of Dead by Daylight coming to Japan. And during that anniversary, they had this vote where people could pick to make a change to the Yamaoka Estate. Your vote will change the Yamaoka house. Vote for a commemorative animal to celebrate Dead by Daylight Day. We'll be adding new animal characters to the Yamaoka state map. It's up to you to decide which animal it would be. And then they close this voting on October 27th, 2003. I actually made a video about it at the time showing what the four animals were that you could choose from. The link to the, the voting is long gone now. So we had this uh, giant flying squirrel was the first choice there that we could pick from. A fox, uh, the raccoon dog, and the double-headed uh, crested ibis, I believe, were the four choices there. Crested ibis, yeah, there you go. So, crested ibis, raccoon dog, giant flying squirrel, and fox. So those were the choices that you had to choose from. The winner was the raccoon dog. Thank you for voting for the commemorative animal. Which of the four animals received the most votes? The raccoon in 2024 will implement the raccoon dogs on the Yamaoka residence map. We look forward to it. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, that doesn't look like this animal here. What the heck is going on? That looks nothing like this. Well, it has to do with the culture uh, in Japan for the raccoon dog, also known as the Tanuki. So we're going to read about the Tanuki here on this website. This statuette looks very much like what we see here, right? So that's a Tanuki statuette. Even though they are an actual animal living in Japan, Tanuki are among the most recognizable images in Japanese folklore and have been part of Japanese folklore since ancient times. Legendary Tanuki is reputed to be a mischievous and jolly master of disguise and shape-shifting but somewhat gullible and absent-minded. Statues of Tanuki can be found everywhere in Japan, in front of restaurants and drinking establishments. These statues often wear big cone-shaped hats and carry bottles of sake in one hand and a promissory note which it never pays or an empty purse in the other hand. Tanuki statues always have large bellies and usually show humorously large testicles, typically hanging down to the floor or ground. It is worth noting that the Tanuki's testicles are unrelated to sexuality or fertility and instead are merely a symbol of good luck and an element of silly and risque humor. <sighs> See, this is the kind of content you can't get anywhere else. Where else but here can you learn about Tanuki testicles? Am I right? Think any of the other DVD news channels are going to talk to you about this? Okay, let's move on. In folklore, the Tanuki is a bit like the plump comical brother of the fox, equally prone to mischief and shape-changing and the deception of humans, and is often blamed for all sorts of ghostly occurrences, both are pictured as mischievous rogues who often get themselves into trouble. They can at times be frightening creatures and other moments be capable of making a negative situation positive. Sometimes they are treated as godly figures and become cultural heroes. Tanuki seem to have a hedonistic bent constantly on the prowl for sake food and women. It also seems quite good at turning itself into inanimate objects such as the tea kettle in the famous story of the Bunbuku Chagama. Tanuki are also said to cheat merchants with leaves they have magically disguised as paper money or to fool unsuspecting diners by disguising horse excrement as a delicious meal. Tanuki statues have been marketed as front yard decorations and good luck charms for bringing in prosperity. 
The Tanuki beckons drink drinkers and diners to enter similar to the Mane Maneki Niko beckoning cats. Tanuki are thought to have eight special traits that bring good fortune. The eight traits are a bamboo or leaf hat that protects against trouble, big eyes to perceive the environment and help make good decisions, um, a sake bottle that represents virtue, a big tail that provides steadiness and strength until success is achieved, oversized testicles that symbolize financial luck, a promissory note that represents trust, and a big belly that symbolizes bold decisiveness and a friendly smile. The real tanuki is often mistakenly thought of as a raccoon or badger. It is actually neither, but a member of the dog family that resembles the North American raccoon. Commonly called a raccoon dog in English, there's the Latin name for it, it is easily distinguished by uh, lacking its lookalike's tail rings and walking on its toes like a dog. The tanuki is native to Japan, southeastern Siberia, and Manchuria. Okay, so I think we're probably going to get both versions of the tanuki on the map, uh, the statue and the animal here, because, I mean, this is what we voted for is the animal, so it would seem weird for them to just put in a tanuki statue instead. And I think this is going to be ready tomorrow with the new update uh, when that rolls out on um, April 23rd, along with the new tome uh, Splendor. So uh, I think what we're looking at here is the Tanuki statue on the right. And here you see these little red beady eyes. And I think that's going to be actually the living Tanuki. Will there be more than one on the map? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen, and we'll see tomorrow. Will there be any kind of a special effect associated with this um, in-game? Will there be like um, some kind of good luck thing that will happen if you pass by the Tanuki? We'll have to see, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy that this is finally coming in. I, I would have thought it would have arrived earlier than now since we voted on it back in October. But it looks like it is here and ready to go, so... We'll see tomorrow what it's all about, but that's all I have to you today to explain this image and what this these little uh, big eyes are in the corner. But that is our Tanuki. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate the time that you spent here with me on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a Gen Rush life for us. It's a Gen Rush life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a Gen Rush life.